This is what could happen if we don't slow down the pace of global warming. Already there are signs. Animal species are on the move, some wreaking havoc on ecosystems. Rising sea levels threaten tens of millions of human lives. But there's a scientific revolution underway to combat climate change. Technology is moving fast. But can it outpace a warming world? The Earth's climate has always changed, but rarely this fast. In just 250 years, the planet has warmed by almost one degree Celsius. Celsius is a scale that scientists use to measure temperature. At the current pace of warming, most climate scientists agree we'll be about two degrees hotter in 50 years and at least three degrees hotter by the end of the century. What will our world look like at each of these stages? And what scientific and technological advances are currently in progress to address each of these thresholds? We know what's causing the problem. Greenhouse gases like methane and carbon dioxide, which act like a blanket around our planet, trapping in heat. And greenhouse gases are increasing faster than ever. Evidence for this comes from projects like this one, just a thousand kilometres from the South Pole. Antarctic ice built up in layers over millions of years. British climate experts read the past by drilling out and examining ice samples, or cores. This ice core is 750,000 years long. If we go back three quarters of a million years, we can see eight climate cycles. So that's eight times we've gone in and out of an ice age. So if you look at those eight climate cycles, we can see what the temperature was doing. But critically also, we can get at the carbon dioxide, the methane, these two greenhouse gases. We can see what levels they were in the ice. And what we find is they're actually remarkably consistent with temperature. They track temperature extremely well. 